Hello and welcome. Artisans in Japan pass down skills such as swordsmithing, calligraphy, and sushi making from master to disciple. Decades of honing and strict adherence to tradition and process define the culture. A group of students from New York is using technology to advance the potential of an ancient woodworking skill. Artisans in Hida in central Japan have passed down kumiki wood joinery techniques for centuries. The joints are strong, use no nails or glue, and can be taken apart. Temples and homes using kumiki can be disassembled and built in another location. Architecture students from the University of Buffalo studied these techniques. They use technology to design and fabricate original kumiki joints and came up with these prototypes. Students showed their work at a cafe in Shibuya. Angles in construction are more complex than traditional kumiki, but just as strong. Assistant professor Nick Brucia created a tool that helps design more complex kumiki. It facilitates angles and cuts that humans could not easily compute. A tool like this would be quite interesting to study in a place like Hida, where more current or contemporary design techniques can, can, can meet some of the older traditional crafts. Fab Cafe connected Hida artisans to the student project. The business has a mission, providing access to fabrication tools and technology, like the 3D printers that made these kumiki-inspired wall hooks. Kumiki is difficult. Students needed feedback and guidance from the master craftsman to bring their ideas to life. Come on. <laughs> Just that like meticulousness, the attention to detail, the, um, the mastery, I think those are things that like, I, I don't know, I, I aspire towards that. Craftsmen in turn were wowed by the intricacy and creativity of the students' designs. Kumiki is now a part of these young architects' repertoire. I would dream of, of, of applying kumiki to a larger structural system, a true structure, like, like it is being used now, but in a different form. In terms of where architecture is going right now is that, you know, modular systems, you didn't have to destroy the entire temple, you would just take out that one piece when you need to be replaced. At the intersection of traditional craftsmanship and modern technology lies evolution. Joshua Brown, Nippon TV.